Uh, I'm called Dr. Gonsha Rehema. I'm a pharmacist by training. I'm currently the best community pharmacist in Uganda, and I'm also the most outstanding pharmacist in Uganda, according to Mopusa, one of the associations in Makere University. And uh, lastly, I'm the director of extra care pharmacies in Uganda, and I work in extra care pharmacies full time. Um, extra care pharmacy began in 2013. I registered uh, the company called Extra Care Investments Limited with the URSB and then registered the trade name Extra Care Pharmacy. Then after I went to National Drug Authority where I also registered with them, identified a, a, a premise where I was going to operate. So they gave me certification, they gave me licensing and I started operating in 2013. Why I ventured into pharmaceutical business? Number one is because I'm a pharmacist, like I said earlier. And during this pharmacy training, I had a very heavy bias for clinical pharmacy. I, I, I used to perform so well in clinical pharmacy. And I also went and did internship in Mulago Hospital for a full year. And then after internship, I went and studied pharmaceutical care in the United States of America at a university called Wilkes University. And when I was at that university, I concentrated on studying pharmaceutical care, which is like one of the highest practice of clinical pharmacy. So I had, I developed or I have very good skills in clinical pharmacy. So it's something that I still wanted to go on practicing and implementing and sort of um, using the same skills to benefit people in communities. How I have managed to build a business, it has been a lot of hard work, but with a lot of success attached. Um, one of the things I have done is that I have worked so hard. I, 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 I have sat and planned uh, put up a lot of structures, I have drawn business plans and made up strategic uh, like strategic decisions and, and sort of plans that are supposed to be implemented as the company grows. That has been one of the reasons. Then number two is that I'm a very strong trainer. Uh, I, when I get up people, like the, the stuff I get, I, I give them a lot of training. And when I train them a lot, somehow I, I keep on building the team, building the team. So if the whole team knows what they are doing, eventually the company grows. Then factor number three uh, is that me personally, I never get content that I have or I know a lot of information. I, I continue to look for, uh, for information. I go for continuous training. Whenever I get opportunity to learn anything, uh, that is related to business, that is related to pharmacy, that is re related to disease and treatment, I make sure I attend and learn. So the continuous learning gives me a lot of edge um, and a lot of competitive power. I, I have various principles I, I sort of hold dear. For example, professionalism. I always do the right thing, whether it's not profitable, whether it's very profitable, it is. I always choose the right thing for the patient. And uh, I make sure I'm making the correct decisions, medically ethical decisions, it is. So that aspect of professionalism gives me a lot of competitive edge. Uh, the way staffs are managed in this company, we are like brothers and sisters. The, the hierarchy of this is the boss, this is the what, somehow is not there. If you came to the company or to our pharmacies and I'm there, you would not easily tell who the boss is. Uh, we make sure our, our staff are motivated, we pay them their salaries, they get everything that is due to them in a timely manner. When, for example, you come buying paracetamol, maybe panado. We, we take time to understand whether you actually know the drug you are buying, whether you're buying it for the correct, um, for the correct disease, 
or whether you're just self-medicating, etc. We, we've had very many achievements, just um, people moving on the streets and even them are saying uh, if those people hadn't intervened in our lives, we would be dead. Just gives me a lot of satisfaction that there are very many people we've impacted, there are very many people we've given a chance to live. And only that gives me a lot of satisfaction. And then as a company, I've trained very many people. There are very many people I've given uh, an opportunity like to earn, blossom, like giving them a start of career, like making a foundation of people's career. Some live, uh, it, it is imperative in a company. People may not <laughs> be with you for the next 20 to 40 years. But the way people come in and the way they live, they live very changed people. Uh, also, our company is growing. It's growing into branches. It's turning out to be a chain pharmacy. Uh, uh, our business is very highly regulated. It has a lot of taxes attached. You pay taxes to National Drug Authority. You pay the licensing fee. You pay the suitability of, of premises. And then you pay the change over pharmacy fees to the, to the same body. After there, you have to go to the Pharmaceutical Society of Uganda and pay subscription for the pharmacist. And then pay developmental fees. After that, you have to pay pay as you earn. You pay NSSF. And at the same time, you have to file income tax. You have to pay local, uh, local service tax to the... <laughs> to the municipal or town councils and you have to pay for all the bipande, you pay taxes to the BIPA, for the bipande, both to UNRWA and then the local service, the local council. So the, tax, the taxing and regulation is just so high for this kind of business. We, we have a future plan to grow into very many branches, both um, nationally and globally. I think we shall grow into the East African community ca countries. It's one of the dreams we have. Um, on top of that, before the global aspect comes in, internationally, we are going to continue growing and, and finding a way of managing many branches.